This Colorado cowgirl is making her third consecutive NFR appearance, coming in ranked 11th in the world with 91,000. She took first at 10 events this year, including an amazing feat you saw in this show, a three-peat at the Pendleton Roundup. During the NFR, she won over 21,000, ending the year with $112,000 earned. Let's meet Christy Laughlin. This year we had an awesome season. We kind of struggled a little bit in the winter. I tend to do that, I don't know why. We picked it up in the summertime. July and August came around and moving got hurt. So we didn't have the greatest 4th of July run, but as she has last three years, moving pulled it out at Pendleton. <laughs> so Pendleton is, uh, is absolutely a dream come true. It was our third consecutive year to win it. Just amazing, especially considering that pin and Moving's my main horse. I have several colts and different things, but I don't have anything that compares to her. She's a once in a lifetime horse and she gets the call almost every time unless it's muddy. <laughs> this year I was really excited to get to Vegas. I, I haven't had a great NFR since the last two years that I've been here. I was really looking forward to it. We came out, moving smoked around the first night, but hit a barrel. The ground has been challenging. A lot of horses are having a hard time with it and for some reason she has not loved it here. She is hitting on her front end real hard. She did that a little bit last year. It's not typically her style. She really has a, a run in and run out style. She keeps it pretty smooth. So I've gotten dashboarded a couple times and everybody knows on pink night she hit pretty hard on her front end and I came off. It's a pretty long walk up the alley in hot pink pants. <laughs> and, you know, it is what it is, and if you run a horse, get on a horse, you can come off, and that's just part of it. It rattled me a little bit, and we're in Vegas. We worked hard to get here, and I'm, pr I'm proud of that. I'm really proud to be here, and if you fall off or hit three barrels or whatever you do, you're in Vegas, so. Right when I walked up the alley after, after I fell off, Fallon Taylor grabbed me and said, turn your phone off, don't get on Facebook, don't read Barrel Horse World, or, or stay off of there. And you know, I thought about it. I, it. It broke my heart. Who wants to come off on national television in front of 17,000 fans and my family and everything else? It's embarrassing. And I chose not to let that moment define me because I know that I am good at what I do and I work hard and stuff happens. So I said, I'm going to put it all out there. I, I, described how it felt, I put it on Facebook, I put the video clip, and you know what? There was a few nasty comments. I didn't personally read them, I heard about them, but for the most part, it was the most empowering thing that I could do because there's so many awesome people out there that can relate, and they are kind, and I've gotten story and picture and video after video, and, and I think people appreciated the fact that I just put it out there and said, I. I owned it and I came off. I can't hide it. It's all over. <laughs> I can't take it back. And where else would be a better place to hit the arena dirt than the Thomas and Mac? It made me tougher and I guarantee if I get back here next year, I'm, it's going to be a little different. So I am so blessed to have Moven. She's a nine-year-old mare. She's not very big. She's 14 too, but she's a little powerhouse. One of the interviews, they asked me who would be her alter ego and I said Catwoman because she's She's kind of naughty, but she's light on her feet. She's just a, a super special horse. She tries hard every time. You know, I think out here she's tried to protect herself a little bit and that's gotten us into a little trouble because she's trying to take care of us. And, you know, she's my best friend and I'll never ever be on another horse like her. So I'm just gonna enjoy every moment of it.